Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Julia. For today's video, I wanted to do an updated what's in my work bag. So I'm currently working as an x-ray tech. I just graduated from school and for the last nine months, I've been working at a hospital as like an intern x-ray tech. So essentially it was like a student position and for the last nine months, I was in school as well for my second year of x-ray school. So finally, I'm graduated. I graduated this past week so I am officially a graduate of the radiologic technology field, which is so exciting. I actually just got a new job at a clinic, so I'm really excited to be starting that new adventure. But I will be working as the x-ray tech there, as well as training into a phlebotomy. So I'm really excited to have a new little task under under my wing i guess it was so nice having a little bit of extra experience as an intern and i'm so grateful to have been able to have extra surgery experience fluoro inpatients outpatients portable exams all of that but it is time for me to start a new position and start a new little journey recently i just started working as a rad tech at a clinic i'm just really excited so anyway i wanted to show you guys my updated what's my work bag so i did get a new bag for work if you guys saw my last one which i will link up in a card i used to use a Pia Raven Konkin backpack and while I still like that one I just wanted to transition into one that was a little bit easier to clean and that is also a little bit more I don't know like versatile for like just everyday life I guess I suppose I could show you guys the bag that I'm using it is this black leather backpack and it has gold zippers and I just thought it was really minimalistic and simple ultimately what i like in a bag so it can go with literally anything so if i wanted to run to the store after work i could easily take this with me so what's really nice is this is a backpack so it has the backpack straps but it is also a purse so this handle just lifts and it's like a side satchel purse thing i got it at marshall's it was on sale i can try to find it or i can try to link one similar below it's by the brands el credi i'm probably pronouncing this wrong but it's called el credi it was made in italy i guess i can easily wipe this backpack clean and if it gets any spills or anything on it it can just easily be sanitized so there's a pocket in the front here a middle pocket and then there's a little pocket in the back so i will show you guys everything that i have in here some things are pretty similar to my last what's in my work bag but i thought i would show you guys just just to update things let's jump into the front pocket so I am still working at my hospital job. I have a few weeks left there, but I have my ID badge, which I can't show you obviously. I keep my badge in my front pocket because I obviously have to badge in and out of the hospital to get in. What else is in here? A pencil, don't really know why. We have that. Some gum, this is one of my favorite gums. It is extra polar ice. Got a scrunchie. This one's my favorite. I actually make scrunchies if you guys are unaware. I have an Etsy shop. It's called Golden Honey Scrunchies. I don't have this pattern anymore. I actually just sold out of it. This one is a very popular pattern. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on more of this pattern. I have sold so many of them, but I have a little like smaller sized one that I made for myself. If you guys are interested in my scrunchies, I'll link it below. My car keys, of course. I drive a Hyundai Santa Fe 2013 she cute i also have my markers which i have on like a loyalty card from a random restaurant if you guys don't know what markers are they just mark the left and right side of the body when you're taking an image so if i'm doing like a right wrist i would put my right marker on it so that way they legally know that i took the image and that it's the right side i have these markers from etsy they have positioning beads in it because our radiologists prefer that but not all radiologists do so that's why mine have the little bbs in it and then they have my initials on it for obvious reasons so i'll link these down below if you guys want to get a pair for yourself she has a few different colors that you can choose from i just chose black and pink simple easy i use radhesive which this is these are brand new markers i've literally never used them so they're really sticky but you can't really see but radhesive is just like a clear tape like substance i don't know but then you can easily just stick it onto like the wall bucky or the table and it won't move around on you i really like rat adhesive i will link some down below and that's all for this little pouch it's kind of a huge free for all in there i'm also going to toss a notebook in here so i can write down any protocols or just things in general that i need to remember because i will be working solo at the clinic so just in case i were to need to know something 
write it down so in this big pocket there is like a little divider i'm gonna try to show you guys this as best as i can but in this large pocket there is this middle pouch here you literally can't even see it right here this black thing here is a middle pouch which has a zipper which is really nice i'm a huge pouch person like i'll put random things into a pouch and then put it into my bag i'm just weird like that and that's how i do things so you'll see that i have like a lot of random little pouches in here eventually i'll probably put some things in there but for right now i have nothing in there and then there is also a zipper pocket here so if you were to need to put money or whatever in there i'll probably put a 20 in here just in case it's always nice to have extra cash in your backpack there was a time when i forgot my wallet and it was payday so i couldn't scan my badge and pay with that so i was lucky that i had an extra 20 in here because then i wouldn't have been able to eat anything in the cafeteria with no money a lot of places aren't even taking cash right now which kind of sucks but it's just nice to have in case so anyway moving on speaking of money i have my wallet this is just like a little wristlet this one is from target it also has this little pouch on the other side i don't think they still sell this but i will link one down below if they do or something similar this pouch here i just keep my pills for easy access and then on the inside i have a book of stamps some cash a little punch card for the uniform store and then i just have my id debit cards target card credit cards things like that just obviously the basics that come in a wallet and then i have my pocket positioning book which i've talked about in a few videos this is so nice to reference for those exams that aren't as common there are some specific exams that aren't as frequently common at my hospital that i work at like doctors don't often order them so if i wanted to brush up on any of that criteria that's nice to have that for and then in this little pouch i've shown this one in my last video but if you guys are interested in the pouch um you probably can't get this specific one but as you can see here it's from thrive cosmetics with every online order you get one of these little reusable cosmetic bags so i like to use these for things like this traveling another scrunchie a charger of course the necessities sometimes i have really bad like lower lumbar sciatic pain so i like to have one of these this is technically a neck patch i like to wear it on my lower back because it like relieves the pain more so this is just one of the thermacare heat wraps and then a lot of the stuff in here is more so for when i worked at the hospital when i would work my evenings sometimes if there was a snowstorm we would run the risk of potentially being mandated to stay so obviously i would have to take off any makeup or just wash my face or whatever so i always keep a little thing of makeup removing wipes working at a clinic obviously i won't need to use these because i am working just normal 7 30 to 4 hours so these aren't really necessary but i keep them in there because i'm still working weekends technically since i'm not done at the hospital yet feminine products self-explanatory more emergency i like to take this during like cold season or if i'm ever like feeling like allergies or whatever this probably does nothing for me but i still like to have it with me a mini deodorant if you guys work in a hospital or like any highly active setting i guess you should really have deodorant with you because i cannot tell you how many times where i felt like i was running around a little bit and i needed to freshen up so mini deodorant got it at target this is a new addition but obviously since we are in the covid era right now we have to wear face masks at all times so we wear the like yellow procedure masks but some people get irritated ears from them Personally, the bands on the yellow procedure masks that we wear are really light and I barely feel them on my ears. So I don't really need this, but it's a little ear saver. So it has buttons attached to the elastic. So it goes on the back of your head and then your elastic attaches to the buttons. Personally, I don't really like to wear it because it kind of makes my mask really tight on my face. I don't really use it, but I still have it in there. I have a toothbrush. I don't know what this cap is from but i have a toothbrush in here like i said i have been almost mandated to stay a couple times because of storms so it was so nice having a toothbrush and then i also have a little mini toothpaste which this is my favorite toothpaste if you were curious it's colgate optic light ibuprofen for all of those aches and pains i know that they're saying right now that you shouldn't be taking ibuprofen if you have coronavirus but i personally like ibuprofen or like tylenol rapid release those are my favorites but that's what i have in here i don't take it often but if i ever were to need it extra socks you never know when you're gonna forget socks if you have to change into your scrubs there probably going to forget socks one day or another and then contacts so this is kind of random but i wear daily wear contacts and sometimes you may have a contact rip or you may just have a faulty contact that day so it's just nice to have extra contacts in because i cannot see anything 
if I don't have my contacts in. I could not function as well as I do in my day-to-day -day life if it weren't for contacts or glasses. So that is one thing every single day that I'm so thankful for is to have corrective lenses. Unlike some people, like I, I'm just so thankful for it. So anyway, that was random. All right, one other pouch in here is this little reusable zippy. I think I got it at Target. It's just a reusable Ziploc that you can wash. But in here is more like my food stuff. So I just have little snacks in here. You can't not have snacks because of course the radiology department is a bunch of eaters. So we always have snacks. I personally like Cliff Bars a lot. This one's the coconut chocolate chip. I know some people say that they're really high in sugar and that they're not good for you. Whatever, I still like them. And then I have these Belvita blueberry snacks. And then of course, coffee is a necessity. This is just a breakfast blend light roast coffee. I try not to drink too much coffee at work though. And then I also have these silicone straws if I ever were to get a coffee from the coffee cart. That way I'm not using their straws. <laughs> and I have quite a few of them. Can't forget the best part, my calf compression sleeves. So these go just from your ankle to your knee. These are amazing. They were like 13 or $14 on Amazon and they seriously are a game changer. My legs hurt so bad at the end of the day some days if I'm getting like a lot of steps in, standing on my feet a lot, standing in surgery or floral where I'm wearing the lead. Your feet and your legs can definitely hurt. So I like to wear these because it makes my legs feel a little bit better at the end of the day, but that's just me. I don't believe I have anything in this pocket. Nope. And then as for this back pocket, I just have feminine products and an extra ponytail right here. That is everything in my work bag. Now I get to reorganize that all over again. <laughs> That's everything that I carry with me on a daily basis to work. And if you guys have any necessities that you guys bring to work or that you prefer to have in your work bag, definitely let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as follow me over on Instagram. That is all for today's video. I will see you guys very soon in a new one.